So really guys, I'm back with another video. I know we're doing this on to the to the TV screen, uh, uh recording it through the TV screen. Um sorry about that, but um that's the only way I can record this. Um what we're gonna do is we're gonna I'm gonna teach you how you can change the background or the theme of your Xbox or sixty account. Um please don't try to add me. Um but what we're gonna do is that as you can see the background as you can see here and all around, um we're gonna be able to change the theme just like an all PO right here. Say like I made a custom theme that has my custom logo um from different somewhere else. As you can see it will be registered under here. This is the Az Azul theme that I've downloaded off of a website which if you don't want to create your own theme you can always download them. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need a USB stick. So just let me go ahead and get a collection of mine. As you can see we have one USB stick right here that we will be using and it only has to be a one gigabyte it doesn't have to meet the actual requirements of Xbox Live. So what we do is what we're going to do so we plug it in into the Xbox into the USB port. This is for only Xbox 360 this will not work for Xbox One. So what we do next is we go to straight down the system go to storage we go all the way down to where it says memory unit 434 megabytes which we can change we can rename it to something else I'm gonna go ahead and change it to M223 <clears throat> so I can get organized now as you can see my themes are already in here the Azul theme is right lo located right here so we can go ahead and delete that okay now we have the now we have it completely ready. Uh, I don't think we can need to worry about that about content caching. So what we do is send some. Hold on. So what we can do is I, I'm going to reset this drive so you understand of how to um, how to how to set it up. So you can see it will only it will, it will say USB storage device. What we do is click click that configure now. Yes. And as it's testing the storage device, we wait for it to be finished. Um, as you can see, the device meets the meets the requirements in the 360 performance. So now, what we can do is we can go press OK wait for this prompt to go away now we can pull it out pull out the USB stick now what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch over to the PC real quick so we're continuing from where we left off so at this point we can go and open up Horizon as you can see I have a Far Cry 3 theme that I want to send over to my flash drive so um, I also have this web page link that where you can get a whole bunch of different themes that you can download off download here there are they are legit about 151 of them and they I think they keep on adding them um, I will let you guys go I'll bookmark this and make sure that I give this to you guys um, but this is different themes and stuff that people make um, there are probably other websites like this but um, but this is a very good website to be using like a battlefield 3 theme which I kind of like but um, actually and um, but now um, I have the Far Cry 3 theme right here we drag and drop it into here, save it with the flash drive. Yes. And if you want to make your own theme, all right, it's been successfully transferred. Go to tools, go to theme creator, make sure, and then just load the images into here, then save as, and then save the flash drive. And that's literally it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch over back to, we're gonna take the flash drive out. Okay, so now since we already have the theme, now we need to transfer it over to the Xbox 360. We put it into the Xbox 360. Okay, so it's loading it. Memory unit right here. Go to themes. Copy. Over to your hard drive or memory unit, whatever one you want to use. And then we're going to go all the way back here. Go to social. Click on your name. Go to change theme and then there's Far Cry wait hold on you can take the flash drive out change theme to 
Far Cry 3 by Deformed Shadow, as you can see. And but I have a Zool theme which I like better, and that's literally it. That's how you change your theme. I will see you guys later in the next video, and goodbye.